Hi, my name is Stephanie Bloom and I am from Phoenix, Arizona. I am the lazy DIY mom. My passion for home decor and DIYs actually goes back many years when our family owned the home that started my journey of sharing DIYs. Shortly before the pandemic, um, my family made the decision to sell that home. So renting really felt like it could provide us with flexibility um, to, and time really to discover you know, where our next forever home was. Um, we had actually hoped to build something, but the rising cost of land and material really stopped us and the housing market was absolutely crazy. So I really began to feel stuck in this rental. I decided to redesign our house, one room at a time. I do DIYs that require no power tools, are temporary and safe for renters, and are affordable so anyone can feel like they can do them. This has gotta be one of my favorite projects that we've done so far. Um, and that is because in this kitchen, it was all black and white. And if you can't tell, I really love patterns. So I wanted to bring um, patterns into this kitchen. And this kitchen had tile backsplash already in place. And I found the tile decals. This is non-permanent adhesive. So you are able to put this directly onto the tile of your backsplash and you um, keep the grout lines. In our primary bedroom, I loved the trend of the arches um, that has been popular for quite some time, but I knew personally that I was not gonna be able to get the arches perfect. So I was able to find these appeal and stick arch wall decals so they are always perfect and they are removable so if you decide to change your mind you can just take them off your wall without causing any damage in my office slash dog room i wanted this to be a fun and creative space and i did not use peel and stick wallpaper in here i actually used decals so this is just little polka dot decals that I put all over the wall and had fun with creating my own pattern, which was a super simple way to transform a fairly large wall really quickly. In the dining room, I love the idea of creating a somewhat formal but kind of funky accent wall. You have a solid painted wall and you have a pattern on the bottom and traditionally you would break it up with a chair rail but in here I of course wanted to bring natural elements into this uh, design so I used peel and stick wallpaper which is 100% renter friendly um, and I got these um, 36 inch basswood panels at a local craft store and put them on the wall with double-sided mounting tape. In our guest bathroom, it's quite tiny if you can't tell, um, but I wanted to change the floors in here in a way that was renter friendly and also didn't cost a ton of money um, and did not use permanent adhesive. So I decided to do a contact paper that is waterproof on the floor here. Similar to laying down wallpaper, you put the contact paper on the floor. And the amazing part about this is it brings detail into this room that I never thought I was gonna be able to do. It has been so fun showing you around. I will see you soon, Rachel.